Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Let me begin by thanking the Deputy President for his answer. And we would certainly, from this side of the House, welcome any intervention to improve the attendance, which we must admit, since the new dawn of this new administration, has not been what it should. We've even had a situation where only a single member of the executive was present in the House to answer to member statements. But I'm very glad that the Deputy President has agreed with me, and I'm sure he'll continue to agree with me, that executive responsibility and accountability is an essential tool for our democratic health as a nation. And that the Constitution of the Republic in Section 55.2 and in Section 92 provide very clear and peremptory clauses to ensure that this House must hold the executive accountable and in turn the executive uh, is, has obligations placed on it uh, to ensure that it accounts to this House and provides full and regular reports concerning matters under their control. I was therefore most disturbed to learn of the fact that the economic freedom fighters proposed to effect an amendment to the rules of the National Assembly in order to significantly reduce the number of times that you, the Deputy President, account to this House from once a month when we're sitting to once every three months. This will significantly reduce the opportunity of exercising oversight and accountability of you, Honourable Deputy President, as the leader of government business as well. I would therefore like to ask you, Deputy President, whether you are in favour of, in fact, uh, reducing your accountability responsibilities in this House, and whether you've met any member of the EFF to discuss this rather bizarre request. Deputy President. Thank you. On a well, point of order, um, Deputy Speaker, Yes, Before what's the, the point Deputy of President order? answer, what's the point I of think order? the man, member must withdraw, withdraw that question is disingenuous and ask it rather to us as the EFF. That is not a, a matter we. So he must withdraw that question I, and come and ask it to us. No, Honorable Member. He's being opportunistic. We will uh, remove your mayor in, in Nelson Mandela. Order. Honorable members, members have a right to ask any order, question. Order, speak, order Deputy yeah. Speaker. Deputy Speaker, they De tried that announcement, order, and it didn't order, work. Deputy Speaker. No. Order, Honorable members. Yes, Honorable member. Yeah. I think it's very opportunistic for Honorable John Steinhazen to raise this thing because it's a matter of the Chief Whist Forum. And we debated this matter this morning, including him in the Chief Whist Forum. So to bring this matter here, Honourable he members, is displaying an opportunism member, on his side. You are making a political statement. That's not a point of order. No, on that's a not a point of, of order. order. What's your speaker? point of order? The Honourable Steenhuizen must just remember I'm the convener of Gauteng, so we still have Johannesburg uh, and no. Swan. So, to quote my colleague, no. Ms. Oni, Deputy bring it on. Pre Deputy President, please respond. Well, thank you. Honourable members, uh, be quiet. Oh, it's, it's not election time yet. Oh. Please, quiet, quiet, quiet. Thank you. <laughs> quiet, uh, Deputy President, some zeal. Yeah. Well, I hear that you are asking for my opinion. And um, I'm aware that you're still discussing the matter where you are discussing it. And uh, I'll also want to hear the views of uh, that meeting where you're discussing this matter. Here's my opinion. My opinion is that uh, you must understand that the members of the executive, they are responsible in between to run the affairs of the country. Um, as much as they must come and account to this parliament, but parliament must be considerate that they must also have an opportunity to do their work and service the people. That is very important. I was looking at today, while we were in um, cabinet, there are issues that will require, for instance, Minister of Health in the Northwest. Now, I then realized that probably the life of ministers, it's a very difficult life. That is why, that is why, that is why we, we have introduced a roster 
that certain ministers should be in the house while certain ministers are allowed to do work. Well, you can have me as many times as you want. I'm here with you. I'm not going to run away. Well, I'm not part of your meeting, but I'm saying if you want me, I'm available. Anytime. I won't run away from you. Mm. I, I've tried to answer your question. You are very disruptive. Deputy, I'm trying Deputy, to answer you, you are talking. Deputy Speaker, um, he didn't answer the, the aspect of the question was whether he's met anybody from the EFF no, to discuss no. this proposal. No, it was a direct question. No, honorable. But you know, Deputy Speaker, honorable. he was supposed to ask us in the Chief's Forum. No, no. So why you keep on asking honorable. this boring question? Honorable. He's got nothing to do, he's got honorable. nothing to ask here. So he must stop using the FF's name. Honorable Mkalipe, you are out of order to write, no, no, you are out of order both of you. You just, just on your hind legs and you speak without being allowed to, to speak. Just have some order, please, man. 